Welcome all. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce with us on the sidelines. It's the Chicago Bulls and the New Jersey Nets. So let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. And it's Paxson in at the one. Basket counts. Ken has no issues mixing it up down low. He's a physical point guard. Here's Paxson. Pass to Graham. To the middle. Here's Pippen. It's hauled in by Van Horn. That's the shot you hope for. Right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. The shot by Kidd. No good. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. Here's Paxson. Nice shot from 10 feet out. And Scottie Pippen so good at surveying the floor. Like seeing him find the open man with those sweet dishes. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Here's Kidd. McCulloch passes to Kidd. Here's McCulloch. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Kittles to the right side. Here's Kidd. Goes up with it again. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And when you think of elite floor generals, how could you not think of Jason Kidd? I mean, he makes everybody around him better all the time. And so here is Chicago. Here's Paxson. Grant outside. Clock at six. Here's Jordan. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Hey, the defense has the right idea there, but Jordan has the skills to overcome the contact. Here's Kidd. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the first. Takes the three. Gets it to go. His second make in six tries. Known as a pass-first player. That's who Jason Kidd is. He doesn't shy away from shooting off the catch when he has opportunities. Now here's Jordan. Shoots from the elbow. Kidd with a rebound. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Yep, that one goes. Kidd's got nine points. Down low, Kidd's assertiveness makes the difference. I mean, helping him get around the trees, the big fellas in there, and to his shot, that's good work. Now here's Jordan. McCulloch pulls it in. New Jersey leading. And he dunks it down. The superb basketball IQ of Jason Kidd scanning and surveying the whole floor and then zeroing in on the ready shooter. Two for one opportunity here. Hey, if I'm in their shoes, I go for it. Paxson passes to Jordan. Here's Pippen to end the run. Sinks it from distance. 27 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Kidd. He's got nine. 15 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Offline from the top of the key. Ball stolen. And here they come. Pass to Van Horn. Here's Kidd. Got it up. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. It's the Nets leading by four. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute.
And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And taking a look at the Nets' performance here, guys, what are your thoughts? Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. Chicago trailing here. Jordan with it. Here's Purdue. Pass to Armstrong. And he gets it to go from the high post. Armstrong's got his first points in this one. Really solid work from the mid-range there. I love seeing Armstrong rise up with the confidence he has in that stroke. And for Chicago, and it's Purdue in at the five. Here's McCulloch. Here's Kidd. He's got nine. Can't connect from short range. And for the Nets. Pass to Hobson. And there's the call. It's going to be That's an illegal green. screen. One of the trickier plays to judge. But it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Very difficult to slow him down defensively, especially when you have communication problems. Pass to Paxson. And here's Grant. And he's going for the oop here. And slam dunk by Jordan. Textbook alley oop finished that time by Jordan, picking a clean pass right out of the air for the big slam. Here's Kidd. Drops in the layup for two. Kidd's got four points this quarter. And you like the balance here, not just falling in love with the three ball. To the paint. Here's Armstrong. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Kid with the bucket. Kid's got 15. Hey, this is how you finish in transition. Kid, his eyes light up when he's running the break. Pass to Graham. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Here's Armstrong. And again, it's Chicago with a three. Hey, you've got to defend B.J. out there now. He will not hesitate to let that three-pointer fly. Here's Kidd. He's got 15. And there it is for him. 17 points in the game. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Pass to Purdue. Out to the wing. Right wing. Now here's Jordan. Defense right on him. The three. Armstrong, no good. Here's Kidd. He's got 17. McCulloch passes to Kidd. Here's Kittles. Launches it. Count it. One for one to start the game. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost him three. 58 seconds left to play in the half. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. And the Bulls making a change here. Fifty six seconds left in the first half of this one. Jordan, the pass to Cartwright. Here's Pippen. Outside for Grant. Pass to Paxson. Just five to shoot. And again, no good by Chicago. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. The shot by Kidd. No good. Tipped away. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. 
Pippen, no good. And New Jersey has possession. They lead by eight. Biggest lead of the game. Pass to Kidd. Goes back up. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And a pretty crafty move there from Jason Kidd, doing what he can to draw the foul. And so he hits both. And here are the Bulls now. Now Jordan. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Jordan's got four points now in the quarter. you got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, he brings it. And so it's New Jersey finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. We'll be right back with you shortly. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. On the court for the Bulls. And it's Pippen in at the three. Jordan inside. The shot's good. Jordan's got eight points. The touch on Jordan's close range shots is really outstanding. He almost makes it look simple and easy to score in close like that. Here's Kidd. 19 points in the game. Here's Paxson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Paxson's gotten his second bucket. Operating inside at close range. Paxson put a nice touch on that inside shot. Here's Kidd. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. The first free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. Chicago trailing here. Paxson passes to Pippen. Grant outside. Down low. And slam dunk by Jordan. For his position, Grant has... Good vision with the ball. I mean, he can find open guys. Kid, the pass to Kittles. Here's Kid, covered by Jordan. Oh, oh, power is oh, home. Oh, wow. Boom, he jams it straight down. Michael Jordan, MJ. It really doesn't get much better than this. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. And there's the screen. Here's Kidd. The three is up. They had a number of cracks at it. Just came away empty-handed. Wow, potent offense. It's been fun to watch. Yeah, just aggressive and effective. Taking it right to the defense. Now here's Jordan. 12 points for him. Pass to Graham. Shot clock at six. The Bulls need to get off a shot. One forty six left in the third. Six to shoot for the tie. 
And it's Martin with the rebound. New Jersey leading. Here's Kidd. Pass to Kittles. Here's Kidd. He's got 21. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Oh, he picked him clean. Out to the right wing. Here's Kittles. The three ball. Knocks down the triple. Kittles has got his second bucket of the night. Kid, one of the most remarkable passers I've ever seen. I mean, a pass first point guard, he sets you up in room service style. Grant, the pass to Pippen. Back to Grant. Oh, Grant throws it down. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Here's Kidd. After the basket by Chicago. And that one drops. Boy, what a slick move that time. Made the defense look absolutely clueless. Who poked away. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Jason Kidd, well known for his defense, but excels at reading the opponent and jumping all over them for steals, too. Armstrong passes to Graham. Here's Paxson. Pass to Cartwright. Here's the floater. Three seconds left. Here's Grant. And it's good. But hang on here. The officials may want to take a look at it on the replay monitor. Well, we thought the third quarter was... The previous play is under review. ...are going to review the play. They're trying to see if he released the ball before the buzzer or not. While this call may not decide the game, you always prefer to get it right. Yeah, and the NBA replay center in Secaucus is queuing up the footage for the officials on the floor. Um, the new process is making for quicker turnarounds, I think. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. Hey, look here. And they've gotten enough looks at it. The basket will not count. The quarter ended before he got it off. That was a great idea to give it a second glance. The replay system is available, so you've got to utilize it. And so it's New Jersey closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. The flow of the game has favored them in general. But hey, the tide can shift. Back to the game after this break. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And New Jersey has possession. They've led by as much as 10. Here's Kidd. Got it. Good job in the low post. Kidd's got 27. Pure bucket getter. Kidd has it all. And for Chicago, and it's Hodges in at the shooting guard position. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. And the Nets lead by 11. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Nets. Yeah, they've collected an impressive number of steals so far, using fast hands to force some turnovers and then scoring on the other end. And I love the fact they kept the pressure on, really pushing that ball, running it up the floor. I love seeing that. A team staying aggressive even when they're playing well. Here's Purdue. Pass to Jordan. Here's Hodges. To the inside. From the right block. Kid with a rebound. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Drills it from deep. Well, I think Kid surprised the defense there. Going for the quick stop and pop. Chicago calls timeout. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. 
I was able to listen in on what the Bulls coach was going over with his team. He stressed with his guys how important defense is at this point of the game, saying, quote, it's got to come down to stops, fellas. We know how good our offense is. Now I need you to communicate and D up out there. All right, appreciate it, Allie. Pretty good display of strength by Jordan there. Absorbed the contact and still able to nail the shot. And New Jersey has possession. They lead by 11. Here's Kidd. And they pick up two. Kidd's got 34. Soft interior D, and they've exploited it. Chicago with the ball. Here's Paxson. And he lobs it up to the rim. Pass to Kittles. Here's Kidd. And it's Chicago with a board. Grant's got four rebounds now. A minute 58 left to play in the fourth quarter. Pass to Paxson. There's the three. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. You know, Pippen is about 6'8", but he's got the wingspan of a condor using that reach to corral that rebound. On the take. Kid with the bucket. Kid's got 11 here in the quarter alone. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Jordan, the pass to Graham. Back to Jordan. Here's Kidd, covered by Jordan. Back to Martin. Pass to Kittles. Here's Kidd. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Here's Pippen. There's 49 seconds left in the final quarter. Six on the shot clock. Back to Jordan. He's now 8 for 11 after that made shot. Not surprising at all to see Jordan piling up points, playing with a lot of determination and grit and insisting on being aggressive looking for his shots. Here's Kidd. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Three-pointer off the mark. It's stolen. Snatched away. And now the Bulls in transition. Here's Jordan. And again, it's Chicago. I think Jordan could do this all day long. I mean, the mid-range area is a very comfortable area for him. And so it's New Jersey winning this one. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor, and they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. We leave you now with our New Balance Player of the Game.